what is up guys this is zach with dream media home theater and today we're out here in allen texas doing an installation in a media room i wanted to show you what we're going to be doing today if you look over here we are using a klipsch system which you've seen us use a lot recently we're using the pro 160 rpw that's the uh, reference premiere series and we're doing four of those for our front left and right and rear left and right and then down here at the bottom, you can see I got my Pro 250 RPW LCR, and that's going as our center. And we're utilizing the Klipsch SPL 120, that's a 12 inch sub um, for our low frequency audio. And then we have the Marantz SR6013 powering the system up. We're doing something a little interesting here. We're using the 6013 because we're going to power up this 5.1 and then we're going to use a Balin to extend the signal via CAT6 out to the patio for our monitor out on zone 2 as well as power up a pair of patio speakers out there with the Veranda Series Sunbright TV. Um, so this is the room we're working with. Front left, front right. Center speaker, TV mounted up on the wall. You can see it's all pre-wired for us. And then over here at the rear of the room, we just have terminations for our uh, rear right and rear left terminations. I'll uh, upload the process as we complete the work. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, so check it out. You can see I got my template marked, studs on this side. Um, so we're gonna cut into the open space this is my front right. This is my front left. Again, studs on this side. I marked out center of the wall, which is right here. And you can see we have a stud here and a stud here that I marked out. So that's how we were able to figure we can actually do an in-wall center speaker, which is going to go right down here. There's going to be the top of the stand. As you can see, Grayson did a beautiful job installing this first speaker. Everything turned out very nice. And our magnetic grill. Perfect. All right, so this is a uh, example of an installation of an in-wall speaker. You can see there's basically three steps here. You're tracing out a cutout template, you're cutting the hole, you're stripping the wire, and you're inserting the speaker into the wall. Just like that. Like that, and you're done. You're gonna wanna throw your level on there, and then uh, go ahead and get it screwed in. I'm gonna go ahead and blind Grayson real quick so you guys can see better. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Beautiful work, Grayson. Thank you, sir. So you can see now we have our front left and our front rights in, and we're gonna go ahead and get that center speaker put in next. Perfect. Okay. Look at that. Ooh. I don't know if you've ever seen anything this beautiful. Just 
Just point the camera at me. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. All right, guys, check it out. We're uh, just making our connections right now on the amplifier, and I want to explain to you uh, the different ways that you can configure this receiver. Um, so this is a nine-channel receiver, meaning that I could do like a, a seven-channel system with uh, zone two, or I could do a seven dot two dot two Dolby Atmos, or I could do a uh, 5.2.4 Dolby Atmos. Uh, there's many different ways that you can configure this. In this particular situation, what we did here is front left and right, center, and then surround left, surround right, which is a five channel system, and we're going to be hooking up one sub. We're using the Klipsch SPL 12, um, but you can do a second sub with this uh, Moran 6013. Now, over here, you can see we have hooked up to the heights. Uh, speaker wires which are going to the patio. This is kind of interesting. Typically we'll power up like a game room, but in this situation we had the customer's home pre-wired for the patio to go back here so that we can run off of the Zone 2 HDMI out um, a patio TV as well. So audio, video. And this does have a, a switch in there to where you can separately assign Zone 2 from your main zone so that they can be playing different content. Now, that is based on the source. So um, if you wanted to say watch Netflix out on the patio, you would need, if, and if you wanted it to be separate from the theater room, you would want two separate sources, like two Roku's or two Apple TV's. If not, if you select cable satellite and you're watching cable satellite in the theater room, it's gonna display the exact same thing. So that's one downside to running it through a Navy receiver like this. But um, in a situation like this where the customer just has, you know, uh, him and his wife, it's not necessary for them to have multiple different uh, sources hooked up because more than likely they're either going to be up here or down there. And um, they just don't need to purchase many devices or play, pay the monthly fees that you would normally pay for a cable box or subscriptions for Netflix or whatever. Um, so this is just uh, one, one way to connect it. I wanted to explain to you guys exactly what's going on here. Now, you turn this way, Grayson's putting in our rear speaker. Come check it out, guys. <laughs> Somebody put a hole in the wall there. <laughs> Who thinks Grayson needs to work out? <laughs> uh, Leave a comment down below if you think you can work on uh, maybe a little more physical activity. In case you're wondering, this guy's only 21 years old. <laughs> Almost 22, man. And I'm single. <laughs> uh, you can also uh, comment down below if... Uh, all right guys and that is a wrap on our speaker installation check it out we got our front left our front right our center speaker all in there looking super nice and then the back of the room we got our rear right and a rear left actually rear right rear left guys so what we're doing right now is we're calibrating the audio um, at the bare minimum we always recommend that you run the Odyssey setup mic I mean I've come after companies that literally will just throw the amplifier in and you know you can make a you know ten thousand dollar speaker system sound like a two thousand dollar speaker system without calibration so what our standard procedure is, is I'm going to run the Odyssey setup mic that comes with the unit. Basically, it's a microphone um, that measures the distance in the lines and assigns the appropriate amount of power to each speaker. It also gives you a good crossover starting point. So, you can see, 
can just plug it right into the front there and then it basically does its own thing um, you move it to two different locations in the room you know your primary uh, your additional seating areas off to the left and right depending on the calibration inside of the receiver it may have up to six or even eight locations as well for more advanced receivers now we also professionally calibrate manually afterwards so i'll run a couple demos and i'll get my crossovers just right um, and make sure that that sub's hitting as hard as it can my dialogue's coming through clear with a nice mix of surround effects that's really what separates out a professional installation from a homeowner plugging it in or somebody that just throws the amplifier in with default zero uh, everything so we're gonna keep moving along, get this guy tuned up properly so that the customer really experiences the max potential of the speaker system. All right guys, check it out. So we just finished our calibration, got everything connected, uh, it turned out beautifully. I took the grills off so you can kind of see the finished product here. Um, if you look, we have our 160 RPWs in the front left and right. We got our, our Pro 250 um, LCR here in the front. This is all the Pro Reference Premier. Everything turned out beautifully. We got our TV mounted up here on the wall. We're using a, a Tilt 3780 inch master brand bracket. And this is the customer's owned Vizio TV. This turned out really nice. We're waiting on the customer's entertainment console. But um, for now, we just put them on boxes. A lot of people are just moving in when we do their systems. So. This is the center speaker. And then in the rear of the room, I left the grills on so you can see the difference. We have our rear left and right here. And as far as devices down here, we have the SPL series sub. It's a 12 inch ported subwoofer. You can see it's ported down here on the bottom. It's a nice uh, ash black finish to it. It's a really nice hard hitting sub. We got a PS3 and a PS4 and a Roku player. And then the Marantz 6013 model. We're powering everything up with. This is a amp um, as well as a processor combo unit. And that concludes our installation of the theater room. And this is a home here in Allen, Texas. We can do projects like this for you if you live in the Dallas area. Um, and if you don't live in Dallas, keep in mind we can ship all of these products to you with free shipping and a low price guarantee. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe down below. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thanks for watching.